Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. We're going to Canada. You have not been to the Great White North in the last couple of weeks, and I want to take us there. Uh, maybe the last week, last 10 days. Uh, so breaking news out of Montreal, the Montreal Mafia landscape last week um, from some court filings. It appears that Rizzuto mob underboss Stefano Solicito, a.k.a. Little Sauce or Stevie, appears to be on the verge of being indicted for the July 2021 gangland homicide of a street gang boss. And I, I think I'm going to butcher the name, so I apologize. Uh, Arsene Montpont, who goes by the nickname BM. Um, he was a or he was the the leader of the of the Scopa Brothers street gang faction um, when the Scopa Brothers were a uh, kind of a group within the uh, uh, Rizzuto mob. They they represented the Calabrian faction. They were street bosses for a period of time before they joined the insurgents against uh, Rizzuto and Solcito. Scopa Brothers both were killed um, about eight nine months apart in 2019. And then two years later, BM is killed in a dispo, uh, the the Green Room Dispo in uh, Kanastaki. I know I butchered that too. I apologize. Um, But this is, is, you know, we didn't know this. We knew that there was an investigation into old murders involving the mob and the Hells Angels. Uh, We know that those two groups have now diverged and are at war. But uh, until the 2020s, this was a uh, uh, two groups in the in the Rizzuto mob and the Hells Angels that were uh, aligned for 30 years. So we know that there have been investigations with the SQ and the RCMP over the last year into cold case homicides um, that involved both the Rizzutos and the Hells Angels before the split and, and, and the war breakout. So there were raids um, last year. There was a series of raids. Uh, The last series of raids last year was in December. There was another series of raids this past spring. But Little Sauce's name did not come up. Uh, Last week, it changed. Uh, It looks like Little Sauce, according to investigators, was at at kind of the tip of the spear in this murder conspiracy. And it was a part of the, you know, the, the, the vengeance aspect of the Scopas getting the Rizzutos in the crosshairs. They killed Little Sauce's dad, Rocco Solcito, who had become boss, killed Scott Giordano, who had become a boss, um, and were trying to kill Little Sauce. Uh, So it looks like, according to the government, they hit back before they could get hit. So according to these filings, Um, It appears that the trigger men in this um, gangland assassination of of BM Montpont were were rolling 90s Crips. Um, There is also the mention of Jean-Philippe Celestine, the butcher, um, the former head of the Rizzuto mob street gang operations that has defected to the Hells Angels uh, in the last six months. But back when he was uh, a member of, you know, Team Rizzuto, he is alleged to have been involved in this conspiracy. Uh, his house was raided back in December. He is now a member of the Marauders Motorcycle Club, which we're going to have some more information on in the com- coming weeks. So, you know, this, again, is another machination that, m- that maybe we didn't expect. And we're not sure on how this is going to affect the war. Um Leo Rizzuto is underground, you know, hasn't really been seen in over a year. Solicito is said to be possibly battling cancer. Now he's got a a homicide hanging over his head, possibly. Um, It also, you know, the the paperwork also mentioned some other guys that we had um, we had heard about in the in in the investigation last year. Pete Diadamo, who is a Solicito loyalist. Um, Nikki Spagnolo, Vito uh, Salvaggio, guys that uh, are firmly in, are still in the Rizzuto camp, but we didn't know about Solcito. So 
we'll see how this plays out. But Bia Mompont was killed in a dispo in July of 2021. It's believed to have been um, retribution for the Scopa's war on within the, the Rizzuto mob. Now there are there is the belief that the remaining Scopa brother, Bobby Scopa, who's under indictment, um, but, a, but doesn't have a criminal record and was not involved in his brother's insurgents, that he is now allied with the Hells Angels and has replaced the Rizzutos as their kind of the Italian component in that network. So we'll uh, we'll get back to you when we hear more about this, but it looks like Little Saw Solicito has more than just his health to worry about. I'm Scott Bernstein, OG Pod. I'm out. Thank you.